Good morning, YouTube. I hope everybody's been good lately. I'm coming out of the gym. I'm headed home. It's a very, very cold day here out here in South Texas. It's uh, freezing rain pretty much. Um, I wasn't expecting this cold front to come in so quickly. What's it? What do they call this cold front? Diego? Something like that? Diego. It's kind of awkward that they started naming cold fronts when they used to just name hurricanes, typhoons. But now the National Weather Service starts to name cold fronts. Wow. That's pretty cool. Well, I'd like to go back in time, and if y'all can remember that today we had a surprise attack from the Japanese Empire, where they uh, invaded Hawaii and plunged us into a Second World War. where they uh, secretly came at at the uh, at the Hawaiian Islands and bombarded everybody. Hundreds of thousands of soldiers and men, women, and children were killed. I have very, very little knowledge of what exactly went on uh, uh, other than other than the one fact that, that I have seen that movie Pearl Harbor but um, I was uh, what did they say it would be a time that we would live in infamy well see what y'all can remember y'all want to Post something down, y'all can remember whatever, what else could have happened on December the 7th. I'm uh, kind of driving, but I could Google it, but but I seriously don't want to drive and, and, um. The following has been issued by the National Weather Service for your area. Hazardous Weather Outlook. Hazardous Weather Outlook is being forecasted for my area. Freezing rain and temperatures are gonna fall. I really can't read while I'm driving. I I get nervous, so I, I I'd prefer just to lay it down for now. Um, but um, shoot, I gotta slow down here. Oh, I am going slow. I'm going 15 miles. 15 miles an hour on a 20 mile an hour scooter. Um, got another message from, oh, from Walmart telling me that there's a holiday, something special going on. Like, I have no idea why I even get infomercials from Walmart if I don't even, I don't even shop there. No, you know what? I do shop there. Or do I? I don't remember. Uh, uh, anyways, I'm gonna drink a little bit of mineral water I had since I had at work this morning. Mm. One gets tired of drinking water all night. So I bring a couple of bottles of mineral water just so I can get an extra taste. Squeeze off a little bit of lemon. Just a ten, ten just a small amount of salt just to give it a little extra flavor. But um
Anyway, December 7th. What might have, what else could have occurred on December 7th? Okay, we, we know about Pearl Harbor. Um... I know. Today's my birthday. Usually by the time you get to my age, you really don't want to know when your birthday is. Um, kind of wish, kind of wish that uh, we could stop having birthdays. As soon as you pass 45, you don't want to have any more birthdays anymore. You want to go down now. You want to start getting younger again. Unfortunately, that that's not going to happen. But um, I could say that I've lived a rich, full life. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Um, ready getting out of work, working nights. I've had my adventures. As a kid, I went from being a fireman to to when I was old enough to be a policeman, and then I, I stayed there for a couple of years until I retired. And and um, I got to travel, got to travel the world. When I had an opportunity, I I went to. Um, Let's see, this was back in 2000, I'm going to say 2006, 2007, I went to Egypt, Valley of the Kings, beautiful place. We weren't at war, or th there wasn't any war going on yet. Now you can't go out there because uh, the U.S. Embassy tells you you're more than likely going to either get killed or kidnapped. There's, 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 there's a lot of problems right now. And then again, there's a lot of problems all over the world. There's problems here in the U.S. also. Anyway, Valley of the Kings, beautiful place. We've got tons of pictures there. Um, I saw... I saw a movie that uh, Jessica Alba came out and that other kid that died on that accident from the Fast and Furious, uh, um, it was filmed in the Bahamas. I, I don't remember the name of the movie. But since that, since the filming of that movie, I always wanted to go to the Bahamas. So I went to the Bahamas also. Nice place. Kind of expensive. And kind of beyond my budget to say. Um, Went to the Cayman Islands. Little Cayman. That's expensive there. As a younger... As a younger man, when I was married to my first wife, I got to go in, in the Carnival Cruise Line to Contameon and Isla Mujeres. And that was a nice place also. But um, I... Stop going there since I had problems with the cartels and stuff like that. It's like I I didn't feel safe anymore. Um, let's see, where else have I been? Oh, I went to the Philippines. If you can see other in my other videos, I, you can see where I'm. Scuba diving at um, 40, 45 feet deep, looking at sunken ships, ships that sunk in the Philippine Ocean during the Second World War. Uh, they were sunk by by American forces. So those boats are still down there. Who knows how many Japanese might have died and. They're all full of coral. Um, they're all covered in coral 
already in. It's, it's, it's their old boat already. But I got some pictures. I got videos on, on my other... On, if you look at my other videos, you can see that there's videos where I... From out there scuba diving in the sunken ships. Yeah, Philippines still holds a very special place in my heart. And ever since I started going there, going more regularly. The islands of the Philippines, they're beautiful. The people are nice, they're very friendly to you. The, uh, the atmosphere is nice, the food is great. It's not that expensive. You get to enjoy yourself pretty much. I, I've made a lot of friends over there and, and I'm able to visit with them almost every year. You know, and it's, um, it's an experience. Anyways, it's, uh, eight o'clock in the morning. I'm going to he head home and get some sleep. I'm going to leave my Facebook open. I got 400 some to 400 some friends in my Facebook. And I know Facebook reminds you that somebody has a birthday. And even though the majority of the people that are in my Facebook, I I know them. A lot of them are family members, a lot of them are neighbors, uh, past, past acquaintances. Let's see. How many will wish me happy birthday? Because it's it, it's a reminder. The moment they turn on their Facebook, uh, so and so person has a uh, have a birth, birthday today. Wish them happy birthday. If they ignore it, I'll know which ones are the ones that ignore birthdays. Because in in my case, although I might not have seen them. Or I might not talk to them that much, but I still have them in my Facebook friends. So if they have a birthday, I'll send them a happy birthday. And they always acknowledge, thank you very much, blah, blah, blah. Let's see how many people acknowledge, let's see how many people use their Facebook today to wish me happy birthday. After Facebook reminds them that today is my birthday. I'm not gonna tell you how old I am, um, based on on how I'm coming out on on this camera, you could comment below and guess how old I am. Anyways, I'm coming up to the end of my <coughs> my route. I'm coming. I'm about a block away from home, and I'm going to wish you all a safe weekend. It's wet weather where I live, and it's cold. Wherever you're at, I wish you a safe weekend. And a Merry Christmas also for all of you in the YouTube world. And my friends, and look, look at my videos. I wish you a safe weekend and we'll see you next time.